Hey everyone, this is Richard Taylor. This is One More Thing. Have you ever wanted to lock a secondary storyline in place so it doesn't move around when you drag clips around in the primary storyline? Well, in this One More Thing, I'm gonna show you how to do that with an anchor clip. Let's get started. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. Normal behavior is a clip that's attached to a clip in the primary storyline moves with it. What if I wanna lock clips in a secondary storyline so they do not move when I edit in the primary storyline. That's where an anchor clip comes in. Go to the beginning of the primary storyline and zoom in a bit. Click Option W to insert a gap clip. I'm going to shorten it so it's only a few frames. Next, I'm going to Option Drag a copy to my secondary storyline so I can align the two storylines. The trick is now this top clip secondary storyline is no longer connected to a clip. It's connected to this anchor clip at the beginning. So if I drag this anchor clip, you can see it's attached to the anchor clip. It's no longer attached to a clip in the primary storyline. I can edit any way I want in the primary storyline and the secondary storyline is effectively locked in place. I'm going to create a blank title with Control T, drag it to the full length of my project. I'm going to anchor it to the anchor clip, and then I'm going to use it to place real timeline markers. As you know, Final Cut Pro uses clip markers, not timeline markers that stay in place. They move around with the clips. So with the title selected, I can place markers on that title that will not move as I edit in the main storyline. They are true timeline markers. And there you have it, one more thing. Lock a secondary storyline in place in Final Cut Pro with an anchor clip. I'll see you the next time.